HMS Daily Announcements, October 10th, 2018. Our school-wide fundraiser, Fund It for HMS, will be this Friday, October 12th. All donations are due on or before October 12th. All students will participate in a fun, challenging, extreme decathlon course. Information went home with students on Thursday, September 27th. Volunteers will be needed for Fund It on October 12th. Volunteer and staff t-shirt orders will be due Wednesday, October 3rd. The Sign Up Genius link for volunteering is www.signupgenius.com. Reminder to students that all orders are due this Friday, October 12, 2018. All students who raise, 20, who raise $75 will earn a t-shirt. Reminder to students, families, slash sponsors can pay through paypal.me slash Hastings Middle School. Top collectors in each grade level will win a prize fun packed Crex Cruisers airtime jump passes with restaurant gift card, four escape room passes with restaurant gift card. Additional random prize winners will be drawn after the totals are calculated. If we meet our fifteen thousand dollar goal, we will have the we will have a dance with free activity slash dance night at the Cirque in the spring. Attention 6th graders, if you are interested in joining the Starbase Robotics Program, please ask your advisory teacher for an information sheet. Robotics will meet after school on Tuesdays beginning October 16th. You must have a form filled out with a teacher's signature returned to the office by Thursday, October 11th. The 7th grade volleyball team hosted Penfield last night. The B team played very well, beating Penfield in all three sets after having lost to them earlier in the season. Leading the Saxons in serving for the night were Reagan Morrison, Isabel Rosine, Allie Mater, and Allison Kirby. Jaden Meyer, Kaylee Carl, and Adrian Vandenberg all had solid games from the floor as well as in the victory. The A team was impressive as well, taking all three sets. Abby Beamer, Isabella Hendershot, and Sophia Sr. all had strong game serving, while Addie Nichols, Abby Baikonin, Aubrey English played very well, setting up many points through great setting. Abby Beamer and Peyton Kronk led the team in kills. Kimber Fenstermaker led the team in the third set with 14 straight serves, leading her team to a 15-0 win in the third. Great job, girls. Tonight's practice will be done by 4.30. The 8th grade B team defeated Penfield last night, winning each set, scoring 25-20, 28-26, and 17-15. The Lady Saxons came together and played great as the team. Leading the team in serves was Kaylin Redmond, Lena Case, and Janessa Hasman. Overall, the team performed well in passing. Emmy Patton, Kelly Cusack, and Grace Madden led the team in assists. Emmy Patton had four attacks that led the team in kills. Great job. The 8th grade A team defeated Penfield two out of three sets last night against Penfield, scoring 19-25, 25-23, and 15-4. The team was led in serving by Bailey Cook and Brenna Cobb. Leading the team in assists was Macy Winnegar and Natalie Stahl. Bailey Cook had five kills, while Gabby Horman put two kills on the board. Way to go, Lady Saxons. The Lady Saxons play at home on Thursday against Parma Western. Come out and cheer on your Lady Saxons. The boys and girls cross country teams competed at their second conference meet last night. The boys moved into first place and the girls moved into third place with one conference meet remaining. Finishing in the top ten for the boys were Kayran Tolis, second place, Jonah Teed, third place, and Caleb Lebeau, ninth place. Tomorrow is the only home meet of the season, so come out and support the teams as they run against Wayland. The boys will run at 4 o'clock and the girls will run at 4.30, with the race beginning and ending on the high school practice football field at the end of Clinton Street. All students interested in being a part of the student council should be turning in their blue intent to participate papers as soon as possible. There are extra forms in the office and outside of Mrs. Gaggin's room. C213. Any student interested in helping at the HMS tours on October 14th should see Mrs. Gaggin. Our school-wide fundraiser fund it for HMS will be October 12th. Kickoff will be September 28th. Watch for information packets coming home. Vol volunteers will be needed. Will be needed for fund it on October 12th. Students, do you want to get a discount at the Saxon store every Friday after school? Earn this year's fund it t-shirt for bringing in $75 or more and you can get half off one item every Friday just for wearing your shirt. Earning the shirt has rewards. Sunday, October 14th, the 6th and 7th grade choir are invited to sing at the middle school dedication. If you would like to participate, wear your choir uniform and meet in the HMS choir room at 1240 to warm up. 
Monday, October 22nd, is our fall concert, and it will be at 7 p.m. Students should arrive at 6.30, wear your choir uniform of HMS music shirt, khaki pants, dark socks, and shoes. Attention 7th and 8th grade boys interested in playing basketball. Tryouts will be October 16th, 17th, and 18th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the main gym, and the final day of tryouts would be on Monday, October 22nd, from 3 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. You must attend all days or talk to Mr. Colton if you have any conflicts. You must have a completed physical on file in the office to try out. Any questions, see Mr. Colton. Middle school conferences will be held on October 25th and 29th from 4.30 to 7.30. No appointment necessary. Attendance matters at Hastings Middle School. In order to do everything you can to ensure that you are successful at school, it is important that you are here. Our attendance goal for the year is to have 90% of students at school 90% of the time. If we meet that goal in the first 20 days of the school year, we'll be holding a student versus staff kick a ball game during the lunch on September 28th. Hastings Middle School is utilizing the SOS signs of suicide portals, part of our school-wide suicide ef prevention efforts. Long for this free educational site for information on warning signs and risk factors for youth suicide, access useful resources, and learn more about the key methods all students will act, and knowledge, care, and tell. To access this anonymous mental health resource, go to this link. You can access this portal at SOS Science of Suicide dot org with the username BCRN colon uh, P A R with the passwords of Parents twenty seventeen. Along with this por portal, seventh grade students will be experiencing a, a classroom lesson over a very similar material on October thirtieth in their science classes. If you are interested in talking with Miss Cole, the school counselors about su Science of Suicide program, you are welcome to attend one of the two brief pre preview sections. Per during conferences on October 25th and 29th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the middle school counselor, Mrs. Cole, at 269-948-4404 or at pcolehask12.org. Hastings Public Library is offering some great programs this fall. Chess Club is at 6 p.m. The Teen Advisory Board for 6th through 12th graders will meet the second Friday of each month from 4 to 5 p.m. Under safety education at YMCA of Barry County, ages 10 to adult, $10 per person, October 6th through 7th. Youth golf, 6th through 8th grade parents, $20, October 9th and 11th, 3.45 to 5.45 p.m. Clubs provided. Kids night out, send your kids to the Y for a fun evening playing games and dinner. Youth, 5 through 12 year old, Saturday evening 6 to 10, October 20th and November 17th. $15 for first kid, $15 for second kid, no cost for more than two kids at the YMCA of Barry County. Annual Turkey Trot, Thanksgiving Day, 5K run slash walk for one mile. Why, why mentors are a school-based mentoring program serving youth grades K through 12. Each mentor volunteer is matched up with one youth student. Summer Camp 2019 registration opens October 1st. Keep your eyes peeled for an email announcing Summer Camp 2019 dates, themes, and registration info, plus details on our summer program. 